Greetings to you all in the most blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we are focusing on St. Paul's letter to Timothy, this is also a letter to the church in Ephesus. Ephesus lo unna twenty sanghani ki, a sangham lo unna twenty adhyatmika naayakula ku pratyekanga Timothy ki e leka Paulu rastu unnad. Paul has been giving so many insights, so many encouragements, so many cautions, so many encouragements and he was trying to guide this young man Timothy so that he will not fall. Fall is not only Adam and Eve. Fall anagane Adam avva jesar le nen vadle eduvan ankuttam. Sala easy ga jepta. Papa mori jesar ante manad unda dakkada. Avva jesi nandu ki danta indi. Adam jesi nandu ki danta indi ani vala mida toshastam. We try to put blame on Adam and Eve but we don't accept that we are sinners. We don't realize that we need to be in the presence of the Lord. We don't realize many times that, Lord, I am a failure in the spiritual realms. I am unable to keep up my commitments with you. I am unable to walk according to your will. What is God's will for the whole world? Can you spell out? What is God's will? Devuni Chitta Menti. To be saved. World save Jai Badali. Manam Guda save Jai Badali. It is not just the world. We are part of the world. And we also need to be saved. And in order to be saved and continue to uphold the salvation that we have experienced, you know, there, there are certain rubrics that one needs to do. When we have a car, new car, there are certain intervals that it needs to go to workshop, isn't it? If we don't take that to workshop, it will tell us, take me to workshop. A light will blink, isn't it? Likewise, Every believer to be cautious, to be protected, we need to go to the workshop of the Lord. That is the church. We need refueling, rehauling every week because we are not perfect in this flesh. We are so weak. We are prone for temptation. This young man, Timothy, when Paul has chosen, he was demonstrating a lot of confidence on him. Usually it is very challenging for having confidence on a young person to take up the spiritual well-being of the congregation. It is very challenging to be a spiritual leader in the church. A young man is appointed in the city of Ephesus. Manajivitam lo, manasanghal lo, adhyatmika naikuruga, naikuraliga, manapatra entaga undi. What are our callings in the spiritual realms? Am I a spiritual leader in my church? What kind of spiritual leadership am I giving to my church? This young man Timothy was called reminding him that you have to fight good fight because I have already fought a fight. St. Paul is trying to remind Now it is your turn to begin this fight. We should fight the good fight of faith. This is a very powerful imagery representing the believer's struggle. To live faithfully and righteously. Namakanga Nidhimantulga Jivin Chali Anedi Devunyaka Udesham. Devudichina twenty Rakshananu Kapar Koal. 
దేవుడిచ్చినటువంటి ఆ యొక్క ఆధ్యాత్మికతను మనము ఇంకా బలపరచాలి అందులో ఎదగాలి యాజ్ హౌ ఏ వెహికల్ నీడ్స్ దట్ రిపేర్ ఆ నేను కొన్న ఇది నేనెందుకు రిపేర్ తీసుకెళ్ళాలి అంటామా అనం కదా వీ డోంట్ సే దట్ ఇది నా వెహికల్ నాకు అవసరమే లేదు రిపేర్ అవసరం లేదు సర్వీసింగ్ అవసరం లేదు భయం ఎక్కడ ఆగిపోతుందో అని ఎంత ఖర్చు వస్తుందో అని ఇంకొక భయం వీ ఫియర్ and sometimes you know god also tests us what gifts that he can give to us and how we can handle sometimes god withdraws certain gifts from some people if they don't put them into use manam avi vaadakamlo petakapothe teesestadu aa talantunu yesu prabhu upmanam cheptadu if a beggar is on the road if he is standing there help me with money if you are having money also what first thought will come to your mind to give a beggar oka bichaga adiki oka dollar o 5 dollar lo ivvali ivvali ante nee manasulo em em aalochanalu vastayi first idi nenu isthe vaadu ela vaadukuntadu how is he going to do use that money kada is he going to use for bad things or good things వస్తుందా రాదండి వస్తుంది ఒక్క డాలర్ కొరకే వాడు జీవితమే మారిపోదు నీ డాలర్ తోటి కానీ నీకు ఎన్నో తలంపులు అన్నట్టు ఒక ప్లానింగ్ అన్నట్టు ఆ క్షణంలో ఒక ప్లానింగ్ అన్నట్టు వీ ప్లాన్ సో మచ్ ఈవెన్ టు డూ ఎ స్మాల్ చారిటీ గాడ్ హెస్ డన్ అస్ డన్ టు అస్ ఎ గ్రేట్ చారిటీ బై సెండింగ్ ఇస్ సన్ జీసస్ ఈ డిన్ థింక్ ట్వైస్ వెదర్ యూ క్యాన్ హ్యాండిల్ ఇట్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఒకవేళ యేసు ప్రభు మనల్ని ఒక్కొక్కరిని పరిశోధించి పరీక్షించి ఆయన మనకు వరాలు ఇవ్వాలి ఆశీర్వాదాలు ఇవ్వాలి అంటే వీ డోంట్ డిజర్వ్ వీ కాంట్ హ్యాండిల్ ప్రాపర్లీ సర్టన్ థింగ్స్ మిస్యూజ్ చేసేస్తాం వరము పొందేదాకా ఒకటి వరం పొందినాక దేవుడు మన వెనకాల రావాలి వీ ఆల్వేస్ వాంట్ టు రిసీవ్ ద బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ అండ్ వన్స్ వీ రిసీవ్ దట్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ అండ్ ఫేవర్ వీ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ గాడ్ షుడ్ ఫాలో అస్ వేర్ ఎవర్ వీ గో we don't go where god is but we expect any of god has promised that he is going to be with me so he should be with me that is how you know when god has to make a choice where do we stand in the spiritual realms how can we really do justice to the favor that we are receiving in the life of timothy you know st paul is addressing him as daivajanuda a respect an honor because you are called to serve in the name of god you know the body of christ believers community we are called for to do this royal priesthood we believe in that isn't it we are all priests in the kingdom of god manan andaram kuda okaru okaru brother sister ani oka title pettukuntam enduku respect var manake em brother ga sister ga but still we address them with respect daiva januda ani paulu pedda vaadu aina padikini oh timothy anochu american context lo idu chaala harsh ga untadi kada first name tho vilsey chovarna ante vaallu titles em leave ink akkada ikkada varna evaranna manalu vilse manake em feel raadu maname oka vela india ki elthe ala peru vetti vilsaru ankodi chinnolu ela untadi but paul is trying to do you know respect for the work what he is doing timothy has earned that respect in his life and he is able to be called by paul as o servant of god god servant god servant daiva janda anantnad with our behavior with our response to god's call can really anyone recognize those spiritual gifts in us we need to examine ourselves you know what is that fight good fight that we are fighting to keep up our faith what are our fights prayera partia a prayer eppudu untadi partiga bodam nenu ochina kottalo oka abbayi unde vaadu perlu tarvata adagakandi ఫ్రైడే ఈవినింగ్ రాగానే సియాటిక్ పెయిన్ అంటారు అంటే అది కయాటిక్ పెయిన్ సొయాటిక్ పెయిన్ బాబు ఏమైంది బైబుల్ స్టడీ రాలంటే 
అన్న సయాటిక్ పెయిన్ వచ్చింది అని ఫ్రైడే ఈవినింగ్ ఫైవ్ ఓ క్లాక్ స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ఆయనకు ఫ్రైడే ఈవినింగ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ దట్ పెయిన్ స్టార్ట్స్ టిల్ మండే మార్నింగ్ అండ్ మండే టు ఫ్రైడే నో ప్లే పెయిన్ నో కంప్లైంట్ నో లీవ్ ఫార్టీ అవర్స్ కరెక్ట్గా పనిచేస్తుంది మళ్ళీ ఫ్రైడే రాగానే పెయిన్ మనుషులకు మనకే అది విరక్తిగా అనిపిస్తుంది వింటుంటే ఐ ఇస్ టు ఫీల్ అండ్ ప్రే ఫర్ దట్ గాయ్ లైక్ నో లాట్ డోంట్ పనిష్ హిమ్ డోంట్ పనిష్ హిమ్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ హిమ్ లాట్ సో దట్ హీ విల్ నాట్ ఫాల్ ఇన్ టెంప్టేషన్ బికాస్ ద యంగ్ మ్యాన్ దట్ వాజ్ మై ప్రేయర్ ఫర్ దట్ పర్సన్ అండ్ ఈ నెవర్ చేంజ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ స్టే హియర్ ఐ డోంట్ నో హౌ హీ ఈస్ నౌ you know sometimes we give lame excuses which are not unacceptable abaddam aadanu kuda manaku dhairyam raadu endukante abaddam cheptunnam kada we feel that we are trying to impress somebody we are trying to please somebody this church is ours we are not doing a favor to the church if you are undermining your own church it's an insult to you if you are undermining the ministries of your own church it's an insult to you not to the pastor or to somebody else sometimes we undermine the ministries of the church sometimes we under undermine the spiritual gifts that what we have we always try to say oh it may be the pastor's thing not my thing but you are called and consecrated through the baptism of fire that you are to serve as a royal priest Jesus is our chief priest. We are governed with the principles of the spirituality of our Lord Jesus Christ. And St. Paul is reminding that, you know, you need to overcome. Daiva Janura Nivaite Vitini Visarjinchu Anantunar. What is the name of the Nithi? Nithi, Bhakti, Vishwasamunu, Premanu, Orpunu, Satvikamunu, Sampadinchukunutaku. ప్రయాసపడుము అని అంటున్నాడు అంతకు ముందు అంతా కూడా కొన్ని లిస్టులు రాస్తాడు పౌల్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఆస్క్ ఆ సెల్స్ వాట్ ఈజ్ అవర్ ఫైట్ ఫర్ కీపింగ్ అప్ అవర్ ఫెయిత్ ఏం ఫైట్ చేస్తున్నారండి స్పిరిచువాలిటీ కొరకు వి టేక్ గ్రాంటెడ్ ద స్పిరిచువాలిటీ ఇజ్ ఇంట్ వాట్ ఆర్ యువర్ ఫైట్స్ కెన్ సమ్మన్ స్పెల్ ఇట్ అవుట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు హియర్ ఐ వుడ్ లవ్ టు హియర్ what are your spiritual battles ye vidhamaina atuvanti adhyatmika poratam meeku undadandi cheppandi ok sari i'll be very happy to hear that what are your fights materialistic fights cheppakandi visa job extension h1 avi spiritual warfares gaavu that are your choices your choices god is going to answer and bless that that is another aspect but the spiritual realms what is your prayer to keep up your faith jesus was every day renewing his relationship with heavenly father he was spending time in a solitary place aina time e dorkaledu devun sevane chestunadu but still he was not getting time to spend qualitative time in the presence of the heavenly father he goes to a solitary place a mountain top he takes the boat and goes to the other side and here paul is reminding him that you know if you have to be addressed as a servant of god as a follower of christ you need to have these qualities provided when you overcome they fight against sin and temptation paapamunaku parimitam kaakunda shodhanlaku parimitam kaakunda avvi overcome kaavadame ఒక గొప్ప ఫైట్ వాట్ ఆర్ యువర్ టెంప్టేషన్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ యువర్ టెంప్టేషన్స్ ఫర్ సమ్ ఫుడ్ మే బీ అ టెంప్టేషన్ ఫర్ సమ్ లాంగ్ డ్రైవ్ ఈజ్ అ టెంప్టేషన్ ఫర్ సమ్ స్లీపింగ్ ఆన్ వీకెండ్స్ ఈజ్ అ టెంప్టేషన్ బైబుల్ నెత్తికిందో పెట్టుకుంటే చాలుగా బైబుల్ అంతా ఎక్కుతుంది అనుకుంటారు అన్నాడు మైండ్లో ఫోటో కాపీ మీద రాత్రి అంతా రాంగ్ పర్సెప్షన్స్లో ఉంటారు కొందరు నెత్తి కింద పెట్టుకొని పండుకొని అయినా అని కూడా చెప్తారు తల్లిదండ్రులు చిప్పు ఇన్సర్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు అది కూడా అవుతుండొచ్చు స్కానర్స్ వస్తుండొచ్చు రాను రాను చిప్ టెక్నాలజీ బాగా డెవలప్ అవుతుంది అరిజోనాలో వి ఇట్ మే కమ్ వీ డోంట్ నో హవర్ వీ ఓవర్ కమింగ్ టెంప్టేషన్స్ వాట్ అవర్ అవర్ టెంప్టేషన్ డి టు ఐడెంటిఫై 
the temptation which is always haunting you and hindering you to worship God, to follow in the precepts and footsteps of God. What are your temptations? Did you analyze? You know, when you take your car, you know, the mechanics will ask you, isn't it? What else is the difficulty? You need to tell them, right? You need to tell them, this is the brake is having some problem and the light has come, you are going to fix it. But other sounds, whatever it is, we have to tell them, then they will fix it. Unless you tell, God is not going to fix your problems. You know what to ask in the materialistic realms, in the spiritual realms, you need to identify what to ask God. Lord, this is where I am so weak, I am tempted. Help me, Lord, to overcome these temptations. Help me. Naki shodan lo nunchi, nannu tapinchu. Ani devu ni pradhin chale. Yes, Prabhu, nirkna twenty pradhan ni adar shaprayam kaavali. Shodanam. Inko oti papam. Papam jedam kondar ke chala sulu. Venna to bitna vidya antar zudende. Smart ka execute jastar papal. Malani neen jayele do anantar. Build up manchigis sir. They pretend like righteous people. They pretend like good people. They pretend that they never do anything wrong. They always follow principles of God. Spiritual pride is also a sin. Several times, you know, some sin attacks us. Sometimes spiritual pride also comes into us. Satan does start the girki. Super Yeshnav brother. Neil and Todu, as a Bible, Allah Chadwar, eh, Chadwar. Neil came over Pradhan, eh, Chayur. Nikuna command to grip up your work, Lene, Lil, Anaganinka. Chest to Pico Stout to the Nataka, a cook of Mataka. Sometimes that spiritual pride comes into us. Eve also got that same temptation. No Chavani, Chavo. Package chasing, no Devota, I put out. Your Devota, Anta Inka. All of beauty, I am cosmetics, what I was from a little bit. Aim yoga, yes, I was from Lila me. Slim, trim, and then beautiful. I put on it. They were that together. Manchlander ni minchi, adoka shodana. For sometimes, you know, we fall into the trap. Beauty is a trap. We fall prey to that. We worship beauty. We worship certain gadgets. We worship our success. We worship a personality. This is also sin. God will grieve because every success is from God. What we live, what we breathe, what we are able to eat, the sustenance, everything is from God. And if you ascribe success to somebody else and worship them, definitely the Holy Spirit will grieve within us. I was <laughs> able to get a job. I was <laughs> able to get a job. I was 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 able to get a job. It's a fact. When we refer, when we endorse, when we facilitate to a person to get a job, and if they don't acknowledge or take somebody's name, I am going to go to the university, I am going to go to the university, I am going to go to the university. I am going to talk about this. I am going to talk about this. I am going to talk about this. You feel so bad. Likewise, God also. He is always listening to your conversation. He is a silent listener to every conversation. We believe in that. We keep all those holdings in our homes. He is a silent listener. He is the head of this house. He is a silent listener to every conversation. He is listening to you when you are at home, when you are outside, when you are walking. You are asking God, Lord, be with me when I am traveling. Lord, be with me at my place of work. Lord, be with me when I am sending my children to school. Every conversation, God is listening. Like our God gets also listening nowadays. Isn't it? Everything is documented now. Everything is recorded. God is also recording everything. He knows how you are grateful to Him. If you are not acknowledging the blessings that you have received through Him, it is a sin. You are grieving the Holy Spirit. And St. Paul is reminding here, Neetini Bhaktini Vishwasamunu 
ప్రేమను ఓర్పును సాత్వికమును సంపాదించుకుంటకు ప్రయాసపడుము యూ నీట్ టు వర్క్ హార్డ్ టు గెట్ దీస్ వాల్యూస్ హంబుల్నెస్ హంబుల్నెస్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సంథింగ్ దట్ యూ ఇన్హెరిట్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ ఫ్యామిలీ లీనియేజ్ హంబుల్నెస్ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ గాడ్ Jesus was teaching his disciples learn from me how humble and gentle i am nenu satvikudanu nenu deenudanu na yodha nerchuko antadu learn from jesus how to be humble jesus should be our role model we need to ask god lord give me this quality let me learn to live like you let me imitate you as how saint paul reminds you know i want to imitate jesus in all the situations even in death also i would like to imitate jesus that was the uh, spiritual request of saint paul in death also he wants to glorify god in his troubles also he would like to glorify god in everything he wants to acknowledge god's presence and he wants to overcome every spiritual warfare that he, he is going through and is encouraging this young man and the same word is speaking to us what is our fight to earn humbleness premanu orpunu patience love inka em antadandi bhakti ni vishwasam bhakti undala vishwasam kuda undala bhakti vishwasam you need to trust you need to be very devoted what is our devotion towards god how are we devoted ఏ విధమైనటువంటి భక్తి మనం ప్రదర్శిస్తున్నాం ఆ దేవుడు లోపల ఉన్నాడు నేను నా బాడీతో ఏదన్నా చేస్తా అంటే కుదరదు సెవరల్ పీపుల్ థింక్ లైక్ దాట్ గాడ్ నోస్ మై సిచ్యువేషన్ గాడ్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డోంట్ గో టు చర్చ్ గాడ్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ మై బాడీ పెయిన్స్ మండే టు ఫ్రైడే కూడా అనొచ్చు కదా గాడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్స్ గాడ్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డోంట్ గో టు జాబ్ వి డోంట్ టేక్ ఎక్స్క్యూజ్ కనిపించే వరల్డ్ మేనేజర్స్ ఇచ్చే రెస్పెక్ట్ దేవునికి ఇవ్వడం లేదు ఐ బిన్ విజిటింగ్ సమ్ ఫ్యామిలీస్ ఇన్ ది ఈస్ట్ కోస్ట్ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ వీక్స్ ఐ బిన్ గోయింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద సిటీజన్స్ సాట్ టు హియర్ ద న్యూస్ అబౌట్ ద క్లోజింగ్ డౌన్ ఆఫ్ ద చర్చెస్ దేవాలయాలు చర్చెస్ అన్ని మూత పడుతున్నాయి వై నో బడీ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ టు గో టు చర్చ్ నో బడీ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ టు సపోర్ట్ ద చర్చ్ మినిస్ట్రీస్ ఏమైతే మోసేస్తారు అవి మూయగానే అక్కడ విరోధ్ రెడీగా ఉంటున్నాడు డబ్బులు పట్టుకొని ఒకటే రోజు అంత పేమెంట్ ఇచ్చి కొనేస్తున్నారు నాట్ ఈవెన్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ లోన్స్ టు కన్వర్ట్ అ చర్చ్ ఇన్ టు టెంపుల్ సేటన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేజ్ అవెయిటింగ్ టు స్నబ్ ది ఐడెంటిటీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్స్ పీపుల్ వాట్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ఛాలెంజ్ వీ నీట్ టు సీరియస్లీ థింక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ వీ డోంట్ రియలీ అలర్ట్ ఆ సెల్స్ అబౌట్ ది ఇంపార్టెన్స్ అండ్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద చర్చ్ then our future generations will not have churches now we hear in the news about what is happening in europe continent majority of the churches are closed down and today it is no more a christian country you need to always work hard to have this bhakti you need to be devoted how you demonstrate it is by your participation in the mission and ministry of god by edifying the body of christ the second aspect that saint paul is emphasizing is faithfulness in the christian life faithfulness in this particular passage he is saying that you need to be faithful neevu nammakamuga undumu ani ayanaku gnapakamu chestunnadu aneka sakshulu eduta manchi oppukolu oppukontivi you have already done that i have seen that you have confessed that jesus is my savior you have confessed that i am a sinner i need to be washed in the blood of jesus have you ever asked this we always pray for salvation of others are we testing whether salvation is still with us or within us or not are we asking god lord i am going against you help me lord forgive me lord there are so many challenges for the believers no doubt about that we live in the world and for human beings definitely temptations will come this is part of our life and for god's children double temptations sometimes god also tests how faithful we are we know the life of job kadandi 
సాతానుడు పోయి అక్కడ ఏమి ఛాలెంజ్ చేస్తాడు దేవుని దగ్గర వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ఛాలెంజ్ దట్ సేటన్ ఈజ్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ జోబ్ నువ్వు కంచ వేశావు నువ్వు అన్నీ ఇచ్చావు కాబట్టి యు హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ఇమ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇన్ అబర్డెన్స్ అండ్ యు ఆర్ ప్రొటెక్టింగ్ హిమ్ దట్ ఈస్ అ రీజన్ వన్స్ యూ అన్ప్లగ్ దట్ ఈ విల్ కర్స్ యూ దట్ వాజ్ ద ఛాలెంజ్ if something is unplugged from our comfort zone what would be our reaction in faith affirmation are we faithful to god or we rebel against god prabhu nu prarthana na prarthana vintane le kabatti ga nenu gudiki bonu rebellious attitude dooram ai povalane tattu devuni blackmail chese tattvam annate because you are not answering i am not going to read bible i am not going to pray what is the use you answer then i will follow we try to throw a package to god and in the life of job he was so faithful we all know that story several times it's a very powerful reminder in our life if some luxuries are unplugged do we really keep up that faith are we really faithful to god manse baagaledandi andukorike chachiki raledu we hear that as a pastor i do hear this i'm not finding fault for your personal reasons but in the spiritual realms i want everyone you to grow and be blessed that is my call that is my spiritual concern when you are success i will take pride in that when you are attaining spiritual maturity i will take pride in that when the church is attaining spiritual maturity who else will boast a pastor and here st paul is reminding that you know as how you confess you continue to conf- confess that you continue to accept jesus as your savior that is very important and in the third uh, aspect that he is emphasizing here in this passage is spiritual warfare this is kind of a militaristic language isn't it warfare we are hearing about the wars across the globe now the terminology we do here every day but here st paul in ephesians letter chapter 6 verses 10 to 18 he speaks about the armor of god how you need to be wear the armor of god chautar and evaru 10th 10th vachana nunchi 18th vachana tulaku prabhu yokka mahashaktini batti aa neendu balavantulu ividi meeru apavaadu tantrapulanu edirinchutu shakti mantulu avunattu ఎస్ ఇక్కడ ఏమంటున్నాడు అండి అపవాది తంత్రములను ఎదురించిన కొరకు తప్పించుకోవడం కాదు ఇక్కడ ఎదురించాలి యూనిట్ టు ఫేస్ సేటన్ అండ్ గెట్ ద విక్టరీ నాట్ రన్నింగ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ సేటన్ యూనిట్ టు ఫైట్ ద బ్యాటిల్ బికాస్ యు ఆర్ బేరింగ్ ద క్రాస్ ఆఫ్ జీజస్ ఆన్ యువర్ ఫోర్ హెడ్ యు ఆర్ బీన్ వాస్డ్ ఇన్ హిస్ బ్లడ్ and jesus has given us that spiritual warfare in our hand to wage that war yuddhamu yehovadi we need to fight that spiritual warfare and he says apavadi oka tantramulanu edurinchali anantar dani kavalsindi enti ayina icche tatvanti sarvanga kavacham a shield an armor of god in the vbs one of the years we had that theme for the kids armor of god they were wearing the breastplate golden plate silver plate and they were demonstrating what it means to wear and there are so many qualities so many qualities wearing the armor of god includes so many things and in verse chapter 6 verse 12 he mentions about our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers against authorities against the powers of his dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms and in the old testament times also prophet moses was going through so much of spiritual warfare it was always very challenging for moses to demonstrate the presence of god with him and in him once there was a war the war was the battle was against the amalekites ఈ అమాలేకీయులు చాలా యుద్ధంలో ప్రావీణ్యత పొందినటువంటి వారు అన్నట్టు దీస్ అమాలేకైట్స్ విల్ కమ్ అండ్ గివ్ ఎ ఛాలెంజ్ టు ఆల్ దీస్ ఇజ్రోలైట్స్ బికాస్ ఇజ్రోలైట్స్ డు నాట్ హ్యావ్ 
any kind of equipment to fight the war. They were just liberated from the bondage. They are only coming and walking according to the plan of God. They have borrowed gold, they have borrowed so many other things, but they did not carry any weapons from Egypt. They are walking. And these Amalekites, when they are attacking, everybody looked at Moses. And Moses was standing and he raised his hand and he said, now fight the battle. And they were winning. And Moses, at one point of time, he was so tired and he let his hands down. Immediately, the war was a failure. Spiritual warfare, demonstrating God's presence within us. Having patience. When God is asking us to stretch out our hands, you need to stretch it. How long? You don't know. God knows. Sometimes our praise and worship team ask us, you know, raise your voices, clap and raise your hands. We are raising for God, not for the team here. It's a spiritual warfare. We are defeating the Satan when we are glorifying him. We are chasing, driving away Satan, evil person from the presence of God. David, when he was playing music, what happens to Saul? Hey, Matma? Evil spirit will go away. If evil spirit is trying to attack anyone in our praise and worship, when we raise our hands and sing, the evil spirit will go away. We will be delivered from the evil spirit. Sometimes it is around us. It comes with us sometimes to church also. It may be sitting next to you, we don't know. Sometimes, you know, it was going with Jesus also. It goes to Jesus where he was teaching and suddenly it raised his voices. Why are you here, son of David? David Kumarada Ikkada Nato Nikemi Pani Anatnat. Samaja Mandiram Lo Evarundali. In church, who should be there? Believers and Jesus. And who is questioning now? Evil spirit is questioning Jesus, why are you here? Satan Anta Stranga, Jesus ne question Jesh Nodu, Ninu Nan Jeda. Chester. You should be very cautious. It was attacking Jesus right in the presence of the believers who were talking and meditating word. We should be very cautious about this spiritual warfare. Moses was always depending on God's power. And that strength comes from the Lord. We need to seek that strength. To wear the armor of God, one needs a lot of strength. When David was called to wage a spiritual battle against that gigantic personality, David, King Saul was giving him a lot of swords and other things. And David says, I can't carry all these things. I will set aside. And in the spiritual warfare, God is not asking you to lift up certain weights, but He is asking you to depend on His strength. When He is asking you to raise up your hands and look to Him, you look to Him. When He is asking you to go and bless and pray for a person, go and pray. When He is asking you to do and exercise certain spiritual gifts, you do that. That is where you are showing uh, the power of God and winning the spiritual warfare. Somebody may be needing your presence during the week. Somebody may be needing your phone call, a word of comfort. Somebody may be in need of a text, personal text. We do not know what a person is going through. When God is asking us to do, do not postpone that. Just do it. Then you will win the spiritual warfare. The fourth aspect that I would like to remind from the Hebrews uh, letter chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Hebrew, Hebrew Lagrasna Patrika Pandita Vajayam, Madati Rendu Vachnal. Yes, Chalam. Let us run with perseverance the race marked for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Mara Drishti ever made on Dali? Yes, Prabhu made on Dali. Hindu Kante Vishwasuleka Samuhamu, Manato Kuda Unadi. The believers' prayers are with us. It's very powerful. The believers' prayers. 
when believers come together satan will feel insecure satan will feel how i should disturb this unity that is the attack that it is making on the churches now so many churches are closing down this is a very serious warning for us we need to be awake about this we need to be cautious about this we need to pray that you know the body of christ should not be attacked the believers community should not be disturbed we need to ask god to give that strength we need to be very strong and courageous not to give up joshua was given that assurance in joshua chapter 1 verse 9 yehoshua grandam modati adhyayam 9th vachanam yes nen niku aagnya ichuchunna i'm giving you a command nu nibbaram kaligi dhairyam ga undumu do not give up when temptations come do not yield when sin is haunting you do not run away you face it in the name of jesus as how david goes with a simple slang and a stone he wins the battle simply you can win the satan that is how the word of god works within us the prayers of the believers works through us the presence of god works through us as we continue our focus you know, let us ask god this afternoon let us bow our heads and examine ourselves lord i have so many spiritual warfare help me lord if you are going through any spiritual difficulty ask god ask your friend to pray for you 